Good. So, call to order. We have any adjustments to the agenda? The agenda. Uh, yes, this is. Yes, What's this up, is Robert. Robert. Yes. Uh, the I have some information that would be pertinent to our presentation, based on the we had a meeting for the repurposing, uh, the high school repurposing, and there's some news I need should share. Okay. Uh, we should have to, uh, yeah, that'll be part of my, uh, whoops, I closed them. Where am I? Don't even know. Ethan, you're muted. Still can't hear you if you're unmuted right now. Can you hear me Can now? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Apologize for that. Okay. We will call. So I assume, I don't know, I have no memory of doing this before. So uh, I assume we go through the agenda for May 2nd additions or deletions, and then public comment um, to that. No, I see is public comment for each of those. And to hear the reports of the school district board of directors, that's us. And is this when we start? Yes, this would be when you go to your Google slide presentation. And then the Google slide presentation is in order of the articles on the agenda. Okay. I'm, I really have no idea what we're doing. So I apologize, but I just don't remember this at all. Um, so do we have a Google slide presentation now? Who has it? 
we do and it's shared with you and bill and uh justine i don't think it's shared with you but it can be um i can put my screen up i think and show you and then we really just go there this is it, kind of slide by slide excuse the fact that i'm still working on my slides the next kind of week you're way ahead of me well okay so i have pictures and things to add i just organizing my thoughts is a little haven't had a lot of consistent work time. No, um, no, great, you're great. So, and Tara, jump in. So this is um, kind of the slide presentation, similar to what we did last year. And Ethan, you probably don't remember this because Amy presented the board part. That might yes. be why you're not familiar with yep. this. Okay, so you open the meeting and we kind of jump into our presentation. Um, can I we, can I do an introduction or anything? Because uh, it well, feels second slide is introductions. Oh, okay, great. So you can well, I tell yeah, everybody. absolutely. We can pull that first slide up, and you can say welcome. You know. Yeah, we're in good shape. I think. I mean, I'd like to sort of say some of my stuff from the letter. Just we're in great shape. We're feeling very positive. Things are moving forward. We've got a great team that's consistent, staying consistent, and we'd like to, we're going to give you a presentation, and we hope it all answers all your questions, and if not, we will be here to answer all your questions about the upcoming year budget. Perfect. Okay. Then I'm going to put you down as slide one. Good. Thank you. You're the person to present. I'll have a picture yep. there. And those are kind of, and then there's kind of just like introductions or our team, mm -hmm. um, if you kind of want to do that part too. Uh, okay. Introducing uh, the Ars Rochester Stockbridge Unified Board. I'm Ethan Bowen. I'm the chair of the board. Amy Wilt is here, Vice Chair Patrick Hutchin, Bill Edgerton, Justine Kavakis, and Robert Mayer administration. Jamie Kennarney will not be with us tonight, but with us is Lindy Stetson, the principal, and Tara Weatherald, WRVSU business manager. Perfect. And then, so I'm going to jump to slide three. And this is just mm -hmm. reminders. I mean, it's essentially what's on the back of the ballot. Mm -hmm. um, you can Should we read this? That. Should we read this out to them as well? Um, or should we you, just let them read like a pause? I think well, right, no, we, I we, think we're I reading would, every. Oh, go ahead. You, no, I, you would just, I would just summarize this. I think we'll take the absentee part out because on Monday night, it'll be too late to get your absentee ballot. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take Good. that out for you and then i would just highlight you know reminder the vote is tomorrow and you would go at the town offices 10 to 7 and if you have an outstanding absentee ballot you can turn it into your polling place by 7 p.m on may 3rd good that makes sense. i don't think you need to read it word for word okay by any means okay okay and then um kind of what i've been working through Mm -hmm. If you want to turn it over to me is, or we can change the order. So feel free to say that that's what you want to do. Um, I have some of our- Can stories. I, by the way, Lindy, I, I imagine you're, the, are you the one printing this? It'd be great for me to have um, like a chapter head printout of these things. Yep, so then I can sort of control, you know, go on to the next thing and introduce the next thing as it comes. Yes. I forget, is the screen behind us or to the side of us or where is the screen? So um, it'll be kind of in front of you, Ray or Parker or myself, we're going to meet around five because the gym is a new space to be holding gotcha. this in as a hybrid format. Gotcha. So we're going to have to do some sound pieces to make sure the sound yep. makes sense and things like that. Ray and I walk. echo too much. I hear you. Um, yeah, if it can be at some sort of angle so that I could, we can see it as well as the audience, that would yep. be handy. Um, we can print it out when it's done, Ethan, if you'd like. Oh, yeah. No, we're, no worries about that. And it can be the, the night of, you know, absolutely. Okay. Handy. I'm, I'm good with that. All right. Thank, thank you. Keep going, please. So we can um, get yep. So then what I have, based on kind of what Bill refreshed our memory on and just what I have going is kind of some celebrations of learning, just some highlights of some things that I'll elaborate more on um, that'll be separate from the academic data growth. Cause I want to make sure I highlight that separately. Cause I think it's really important. Mm -hmm. uh, 
And then, oh gosh, I'm trying to click on the Google Meet. Let me try this again. Uh, I also want to highlight some of the new offerings we had this year. Mm -hmm. um, and here's where I would do some of our student successes and growth with our academic data. Good. Um, and kind of some celebration slash imagery continued. And I also just want to talk about how we've implemented some new math programming as well. Mm -hmm. And what that contains so people know. And then I just have a plan for some photos because I think that's Great. more than words. Yep. And then um, I would say this is where board feedback would be important. Before we jump into the budget piece, I would think it would make the most sense that before we transition into like our priorities around budgeting and all the different articles that maybe you and Tara jump in, that before we go through the articles in the slideshow, maybe we should have a slide for the high school updates, uh, just so folks have that information. Yes, and that's a good idea. Right, right up front. Yep. Yes. Yep, right uh, up yeah. front before we get into the numbers. What do okay. other people think yep. about that? Great. Great. Okay, so I'm going to make a slide right now. Um, yeah, um, and we'll worry about details of that later. Right. Uh, Basically, the policy still stands, as we said, no educational activity. Um, town is helping with, um, with payments for heat and electricity. Um, and we will know a lot more when, oh, it's snowing outside. How fun. Um, at least where we are. Uh, and yeah, good. Okay, good. Okay. And uh, that'll be you, Ethan. Yep. And then, um, again, I keep doing this because I'm looking at you guys. Um, and then we'll transfer trans, uh, transfer over to kind of the focus of our budgeting, what we wanted our budget to support. Um, and then it'll jump right into the articles. Good. Now, they won't have a chance to ask a question yet, correct? Or are we taking questions? Are we trying to get through this whole presentation before they ask a question? You, in your agenda, you, you give them the chance to ask questions after each article. So in the slide presentation, what I've done that you'll see is we read Article 7 first. Then we go through the budget itself. Then we read Article 7 again. So that would be the place where they could ask questions. Right. So there's a couple quick articles before that that are pretty straightforward, like Article okay. 4. They're voting on whether HUD fixed the salaries. So just I just need to know that I'm going to if somebody raises their hand, I'm going to say, please wait for the end of the presentation and then we'll be able, we'll take all the questions you have. Is that is that a or, proper the queue, response? or the queue in the question? You know, you'll we will a lot time after we present the budget figures. For yes. Questions. Yeah. Okay, thank you. That's what I need to know, just what I what I yep. say. So there's three slides that are pretty straightforward about just people, it, they're Article 4, 5, and 6, and they just um, talk, you know, are they going to allow for a note? Um, yep. All those things. And then when we get to Article 7 or the 2022-2023 proposed budget, which is Article 7, and I think if, as this is introduced, that might be... We'll explain it all, and then if you have questions before we move forward, we'll allot for questions. Okay. So, and then Tara and Bill, this might be where I need help. Who does what here? Um, so Tara, do you do the financial position? That's up to you guys. I can, I've done it for other boards, and then other boards, they've done it themselves. So either way works for me. Okay. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that. Yes, I like that. All right, so Terry, you'll do the financial position. Um, and here's kind of our budget changes. It highlights the budget changes. Same thing, Tara, do you normally do this one? Yeah, I can do all the budget slides. So between all the slides between Article 7 and Article 7 slide, again, I can do this fine. Yeah, that makes okay. sense to me. Okay. So we'll do that. Um, I'm going to fix, fix the priorities, Tara, like you and I talked about this morning for you. 
just need to write next to me on my own notes. Um, and then, so you're doing all this. Here's the historical perspective on our revenue. Sorry, tell me if I'm going too fast. I get a little click happy. Um, revenue changes, explaining the tax rate calculation. And then here's our actual tax um, calculation of the change, breaking down that tax rate sheet, equalized people showing that um, our equalized peoples are up. Yay. Y exactly. Yeah. Yield impact um, and explaining that common level of appraisal and how that has impacted things as well as the history. And then we're back at article seven. And this would be where we would ask if there's any public comment or question. Fair enough. Um, and this is a question for the board. Um, there's a lot of information to go through and have people wait for questions, it seems to me. That almost at this these last five, six slides, it's almost like we want to allow questions as they flow because how do you remember by the end? Oh, wait, I wanted that. Can we go back to slide four? That was the one I had a question about. I don't know. That's my two cents on it. I would agree. Um, Justine? How do you feel about that? I agree with you. It is a lot. Okay. Can we go back just about five? So let's go back a couple slides. Um, just see where. So I think there's a clear point, And I think it should be after budget changes. One more, please. This one? Yeah. Maybe one more. Just see where we're. So that's. Okay. And so at the end, after we read this article, what I think I'd like to do. I say, OK, now we're going into some specific details of the budget um, and we're going to go slide by slide. This is an overview. It's not as detailed as what's in your book, um, but we want to sort of highlight some of the things. Now, after each slide, we'll open it up for questions. How does that sound to people? Is that thumbs up on that? Good. Uh, yeah. Robert, Bill, yeah, no. I, I, I mean, because I think that's it's the real meat of why people are there and it sort of covers a lot of things. And I think it's also a little more transparent. Um, so good. OK, so um, we will ask questions. So then we'll go through these slides and we've already assigned who's doing. Sorry. Um, uh, per pupil spending. What? Sorry. When did we leave Tara and are now somebody else? Are we is Tara all of this? Yes. yes, I would be between the two slides that say Article 7. So I normally go through all of these slides and okay. I reread Article 7 and that's when I pose questions. But if you want to do it after each slide, then that, that's up if to you. If that's okay. I mean, you know, there, there may not be um, questions, but I just feel like that's a little more in the nature of how we've been um, uh, open with our, with our people, if you're okay with that. Yeah, that's um, fine. Good. Okay. Thank you. Then let's go back. Now we can go finish up then to article the other second article. Well, so, so here's right. one idea is What's that? Bill has his spreadsheet that talks about the tax rate based on your income sensitivity and or your um, your appraised house value. And this may be the spot, this slide of common level appraisal, where we would link the spreadsheet so it could be projected wide. And Bill could just briefly interject right there, Tara. Good. I about think... how this really impacts you. Yeah, I was going to. Um... Unless others have other. I don't know what else you were thinking, Bill, or had ideas. Um, what is a. The spreadsheet is just has too many lines. It's just too busy. And I have not yet kind of zeroed in on uh, a graphics, uh, a simple graphics with just a few numbers to help tell the story. <clears throat> um, but so I was thinking about that. But I was also thinking about, um, do you want me to give a, a brief presentation on tax impact? Or do you want me to be the point person if the question is raised, why are taxes keep going up? Why is this so expensive for us? Um, so that's one question to the group. Do you want me to be proactive and give a couple slides um, on the tax impact? 
um, or not, and I'll I'll prepare those. I um, I, I needed an answer to that question before I was going to do it, but it's yeah. Um, what, what's your um, pleasure? We're trying to understand understand this. Um, so we could do it two I, ways. We could be proactive and present it right here. If you if you feel like you can find a graphic that right. works. Oh, or if the question comes up, he could explain, like if someone asks the question about Let's, it. I would suggest that we wait for the question. And that I think, I think, you know, it's very good to have all these visuals. I also think people talking to people is, is a good old fashioned uh, method. And I think Bill, you know, you're very articulate and you can speak very well so that if, if the question comes up, and um, and we can just take a moment of Tara. No, Bill, why don't you take this question, and and we'll do that if it's about that kind of question. Yep. Does yep. that sound good, Justine? Sounds... Yep. And Robert. Yes. Good. Thank That's you. fine. Okay. Good. Let's move yep. on then. All right. Just 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 to, uh, just I sent out the spreadsheets uh, just to let you know. Uh, yep. It wasn't to be uh, on the screen, but to let the board know what the numbers are as far as tax impact. And uh, there's a lot of information there, <clears throat> but I think the story is very, very positive. Mm -hmm. um, and if you have any questions on any of that, just you know, give me a call or email. The second thing is, uh, Ethan, when we're going through these slides and somebody says, well, I'm on the uh, school budget, detailed budget, and why did line item 280 go from $26 or $740 down to 43. Who answers the detailed budget stuff? Good question. Um, that would be me. That would be Tara. I, okay. I think we should put questions from the bulletin at the end of this presentation. So I'll make it clear that we're asking questions about slides and the information presented in the slides yep. and that detailed questions yeah. about the budget and the bulletin will come after after this presentation. Gotcha. All right. All right. And Tara, you're doing that. Great. Yeah, and, sh and she'll be doing that. OK. Um, each first. Uh, I don't know how to write. OK, good. First time. Article seven and open. Okay, we've done it, Article 7 again. And technically, this is the, is this the end of your time except for answering questions, Tara? Yes. Good. Well, how nicely timed. You have to leave in three minutes, so that's perfect. <laughs> um, very good. Thank you so much for being on this with us. Yes, thank you. And if we uh, have more questions for you, we'll send them. We'll we'll send them on. Yeah, I'll be back in the office in a little bit. So if you no, have any questions you. as you're working through it, let me know. Great, thank you. Thanks. So then it goes to Article Nine about authorizing the transfer of proceeds from the Dandelion Building sale in the amount of seventy thousand. Uh, nine hundred and four. So it's reading this article. And then mm -hmm. asking if there's any questions. Um, uh, and I think it's one of the things just to remind folks of is that there's already an established um, buildings and yeah. maintenance fund that's specific to Stockbridge. Yeah, I think that's, that's this one we want. Um, I think it might be useful to have a slide that has the three separate accounts on it, just so people see this as three separate things. So that if, if we approve all this tomorrow, here's what it'll look like. There'll be a Rochester Stockbridge, there'll be a, a, a Rochester Stockbridge joint where we're yeah. putting the fund balance in. There'll be, there will, already exists a Stockbridge account and we will, if we vote for it, we will create a Rochester account to put the dandelion funds into. So my I, question yeah. for you, just order of operations, is that's like what Article 10 says? 
Well, then maybe, yeah, so maybe we should do it after Article 10. And we should lump, I think these two articles should be sort of read together and then take questions. And maybe we even put that slide up before we take the questions, just so we make it clear. Look, this is what we're asking for is three separate funds. One of them exists already. A second one would be for the dandelion. And a third one is going forward into the future. And I think that will help people understand it. Do, do you agree? Do you all agree with that? Yeah, I, I sent up a, 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 a slide possibility. You should have had it. Lindy, you have that. And if you right. could, that's a possibility. And I think it's a good idea, Ethan, because I can see Stockbridge people saying, well, why are Rochester getting the money? Uh, haven't we done this or that? And yep. th- I, I, it kind of lays it out. And then with that in the background, we can talk about Article 9, and Article 10, and Article 11. And I, I think it helps step, set the stage. And So in the, other words, you're, you're saying do it before we even read Article 9 or Article 10. These next two articles have to do with fund funds that we would like to set up. Here's yeah. what here's what we here's what we propose, and then we get to Article Nine and Article Ten, but and with and them Article already 11. knowing, with them already knowing what our our goal is here. Yeah, okay. and Article Eleven, Ethan, because that's the money for the combined, the joint. Yep, yep. Oh, it is. Got you. Thank you. Okay. So you um, want I, that to go before nine? You want this to go up here then? I think so. Yes. Uh, Justine, does that make sense that we put it before we even read the three articles? I think so. Okay. I mean, you can do that both too. Like we can post it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Sorry, Lindy. I was going to say we could put it up as the intro slide, read the three articles, and then just copy the exact same slide and put it after the fact too. Great. If that makes sense. Does that make sense to folks? Well, yeah, we'll take a look at it and see if, you know, if you're pulling together the slide, take it, take a look at it and, and see if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, but I, I think, I think certainly introducing it before and, and I think getting back to it, it is, you're right. It is the most potentially confusing aspect of our budget. And let's, let's be really clear about what we're looking right. to do. Okay. It's also very, very important to get these monies both, Oh yeah, to, for for capital and for Rochester and for the joint, we're setting up this thing. That's a building blocks for the future uh, to take care of our physical plant. So, yep. uh, yeah, good. Um, then I think any additional business. There actually is not a, a uh, that's not on the agenda. Any additional business. So I think you could probably just change it to, are there any other questions? Are there any other questions? Yeah, let's, let's, let's make sure. Okay, and if not, then I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Woohoo! Um, so can I jump back for a second? What Absolutely. do you want to go on this? Um, high school updates and i don't know if this is where robert's information if robert has information that's going to impact what well, you on there i think there's two areas one is where we are right now is his current status mm-hmm. is as far as the school board's concerned we are in a holding pattern waiting for the town to make a, cons- a decision about taking the building or no um, and that in that time, we have we are still holding to our thing. We have no educational activities in there um, and that we are um, seeking and gain, getting uh, um, help in paying for fuel and um, electric from the town. And then the possibilities, what we know, what we can state of the possibilities i think that's more just a timeline state wouldn't you I, okay good yep i i would because you guys still need to have a conversation as a board i mean you started oh, yeah, the yeah, conversation yeah. last right. time but i would unless robert has other updates or if other jump in like, tell me to stay in my lane but if i were my recommendation would be just 
to stick to the timeline of the facts of what's going on right now. There's been a feasibility study that's going on. It'll be the com completed and presented to the town of Rochester, I believe in June. Correct. And then the town of Rochester plans to hold a vote in July. I, okay, yeah. I, I, I have information that may affect that. Okay, or whatever you got, Robert. <laughs> well, write that anyway, oh, oh. just a good start. What's okay, up, here's uh one we've just as of yesterday late afternoon right before our meeting received information that um to get any federal money we have to have a environmental impact or environmental evaluation of the building this is a six-month process cool. so you know that was a shock uh, and your, two, your consultants didn't know this before. Uh, the, the, well, I, they didn't. I mean, that's 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 so disappointing. We, we just, well, it's we're yeah. so at any rate, if we were if we had a grant writing expert, which we are pursuing funding and such to get, who would probably have known that. Um, uh, we're we're trying to do that so we get less surprises and going uh, forward. Two, as far as your responsibilities, we got information from, I think it's the, the Department of Ed, but it might have been that, well, basically that your option to just shutter the building may not, you may not be allowed to just shutter the building. Um, By who? Department of Ed. So I I have little information on that, but what I'm saying is this is these are I'm trying to be you know as transparent as possible and share this information with you. I so and uh, yeah. and please let me finish. So. Um, yeah. so, yep. Three, you know, uh, and and I would like to put on our regular meeting uh, on the agenda of our regular meeting, a presentation of, and once we have more information, I, please, we just got this information late yesterday afternoon. So, um, um, and they were supposed to contact, uh, Jamie this morning, but J Jamie's on, on vacation. So, uh, I'm presenting it to you. So you're not surprised um, and that you don't, don't make promises that um you, know, you that you're cautious in your promises as far as the timeline yep. um and we will discuss it at a future board meeting uh number three is you know we've been pursuing tenancy um and we have mm -hmm. uh, we can't they're not confirmed yet but for contingent uh, tenancies and and we're making progress there for perhaps the major tenants um, and four, we have been uh, actively working with uh, Senator Leahy's office. They're encouraging us. This is the type of project they want to fund. Um, and but you know we're having this is a slow process as we keep on finding out. Um, but we have Senator Leahy's office behind us. So these are all you know updates for you. Um, I mean, if you want to do it sooner than the next regular meeting, we could call a special meeting. But um, well, it's tell me. Not really time. Um, uh, I, I'm just a little concerned because um, I think some of this information came to us as a board in executive session in the last meeting. And so I'm just a little, uh, I'm not sure that we should be, because this is a public meeting that anybody can listen to as far as updating things um because that six months is a it's a big one um right, it is but it's that we're we're trying to be transparent as yep. i know the whole board is um but you i'm you i figured that it was important that you know before going into a presentation with uh to well, the, the town i mean i think we made it pretty clear that we ha we are making no we are making no promises. Um, we are we are just saying we're in a sort of wait and see position. Um, I think if it's six months out again from June, then we're at 
where do we get paid? How do we keep the heat on and the electric and, on? And right, and we're actively pursuing funding sources for that. So, okay, um, good. Well, then I think following, uh, uh, I would suggest Lindy following your guideline. I don't think we say anything. <laughs> Um, I, you well, know, I, I think we say we have a timeline. Um, uh, I, I don't think it's for us to say. I don't know. I just I don't know if we say this in the in the meeting. Um, new. I don't think you want to bring new information out at a meeting like this. But maybe no, I wasn't. I wasn't suggesting that. What I was suggesting is is uh, when you're. Uh, I, I like the idea of well, we're in a holding pattern and. Um, we have some, you can say we have some tentative dates, but these things, this is this is a moving target. I think yeah, you Linda. could say we're in a holding pattern. Yep. We did not add additional funds to the budget to continue providing fuel and electric. I mean, we maintain mm -hmm. that at status quo. Mm -hmm. um, and we're waiting on a presentation out from Rochester. Like, does that yeah. sound fair? Yes. Um, I think so. And we'll be discussing it at future meetings. Like, I, I don't want to sound like we're yep. kicking the can down the road, but the honest answer is, like, this has to be presented to the full board. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and if we get direct questions afterwards, like, hey, I heard this thing about an environmental study that's six months down the road. Well, it says, yes, we've heard that, too. We don't know the details have, and haven't heard that from the town yet. I mean, because mm -hmm. that's true. It's It's literally... Um, we acknowledge it, but it's not something we can stand on yet because it's not in front of us. It hasn't been formally, you know. And we invite you to join us at future meetings. Future meetings. High, school, yep. high school building is on the agenda as we are still working <clears> in partnership <throat> with the town of Rochester as they um, finish up their, I think it's fair to say, Good and work. Robert, correct me if I'm wrong, finish up their feasibility study. That's correct. Yeah, I Does think that, that's a good word. And, and not put a date on that. Yep. Right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Linda, that's I, the way I would do that. I don't want to go down the wormhole. Yep. And offset the the true purpose of this is to support our budget, our school budget for next year. I know it's a point of contention and support between the two communities, but we're supporting the budget that supports our students learning within both communities. That's the goal of this meeting. Oh, um, I I support that. I support that phrase. Robert, you're good with that? I'm good with that. Okay, Bill, you good with that? Yes. Okay, Lindy, I think that's, I think you're absolutely on it. So, yeah. You know, I'm trying to be proactive. I think it's a great conversation to have here because we have been like blindsided by it in past meetings and it's become a focal point, unfortunately. Um, and it's I not... Think we just don't yep. have all the answers right now. And that's the honest truth. Yep. And, 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 and I think, as you say, every time we do that, we say our focus is on the education of our children. Um, we are waiting on other details, but basically we've, you know, uh, the, We're that, 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 don't hold. that educational programming is not occurring yep. within the high school building. And we're trying to work in partnership with the town of Rochester I think um, when we came for their feasibility study, when we came up to with the 15,000 was the amount we were asking from Rochester. That was Stockbridge's wow. share. The idea that that would have been their share of the 45,000 to keep yeah. the heat and electric mm -hmm. on. And so, so I think that where it says, you know, town of Rochester has paid funds to offset fuel costs. Um, I think that could be and specifically that was fifteen thousand dollars for that would cover the stockbridge's share so that stockbridge has no has is putting no financial monies into this into this school yep okay good great do you have any other um questions before that um it it did say um bill's thing said something about goals going forward as I looked at our goals, I felt like I don't feel like we've really approved them yet for public consumption. Um, we still have some work to do. I'm 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 happy to mention them in general or at least the the headings. But I I I think let's keep let's keep this 
I would just stick yep. to what they're voting on. Yep, I, I agree. So I don't know. It was in our outline, but I think I think let's not do that. Yeah, you are- I, I agree. OK, good. Robert, you good with that? I'm good with that. Great. Thank you. Um, going back to the high school, I think we need to be prepared. Tara probably will do it, but I think, Ethan, you need to be prepared, too, if they say, well, <clears throat> how long are we going to be paying all that debt service for the high school? We've been paying for Good that question. for years. And so this I is think the last year, I believe. Right. So on page 30 uh-huh. of the bulletin, it has the number, and this is the last year, the way I read it, Lindy, but I just yes. think we need, somebody needs to be able to say, well, check, you know, look on page 30, there it is, it's 80,000, it's already in our budget, the, you know, the tax impacts down, surely, and, and that will take care of it, and, uh, but thank you for asking that question, because this um, is the last. Um, should, should, sh- I mean, sh- well, no, we can't, because we haven't done anything officially with the board. I'd forgotten all about that service. Um, and I'm wondering if at a future meeting we should actually talk about percentage Rochester Stockbridge percentage that maybe some of the fund building fund goes to relieving Stockbridge of that debt. If 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 it if this question gets asked and we know that some people are thinking about it. I think you gotta wait and talk to Tara about that because the other thing about debt service is that also counts as a credit to help lower our our um, threshold. And gotcha. things of that nature. So, that, in other words, it's handy for Stockbridge to have that. It works both ways, right? And and our ultimate goal is this is our budget together. Yep. Yes. Our yes. budget together, our students, our campuses, and this is what we're focusing on. And this is the last year where it comes at. And it's also a sell point of those capital improvement um, revenue, where our revenue is going to go, because the goal is to be able to use that to sustain our buildings to prevent from having to go for bonds. Not that we've talked about that, but that's why we want to put some of that extra revenue into there. Mm -hmm. So we have things for projects and we don't need to bond things out down the road. The other thing, Ethan, on that question of, you know, why should Stockbridge be paying the debt service? I had a slide last year um, when we had a public hearing before the revote and, Mm -hmm. uh, it showed the amount of debt service left and it had a little bar and uh, it was quite short because debt service was, was going to uh, end up this end of this coming year. Then I showed all the tuition revenue coming in. That's Rochester, right. That's right. Rochester. Okay. And you notice how huge that was compared to the debt service load. And most of that revenue was coming in, uh, thanks to Rochester. Can, you, um, can we have that slide on? And on just to show hand. that people are saying, well, why are we paying? Then Rochester could say, why are we giving our tuition revenue, all that tuition revenue benefiting Stockbridge? Neither question makes sense. And so um, anyway, that's in your back of your, your pocket if you want to use it. Good. Good. Yeah, as you say, it's the key is is um, hopefully not to say anything that opens up the rabbit hole. If they bring it, they bring it. But I think we, I do think we have a good bit of trust right now yep. in our budget and how we're dealing with things. That I'm, I'm hopeful that people are going to be actually pretty accepting and we're going to move through this pretty quickly. But we'll see. The if- only question I've heard, and I told Tara about it today, was around that the equalized spending per pupil went up 3.1% and mm-hmm. people wanting to know that. And most of that points to tuition. And so she's prepared to be able to answer that question. Okay, good. Uh, do we feel good? I do. Bill, you feel prepared? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hopefully by, by Monday night. And uh, yeah, I, I, I think we've got a lot to celebrate, to uh, explain and who, um, to educate and to listen to. So um, I haven't heard anything on the scuttlebutt that's about you never know. And this is important to be able to explain things clearly uh, and accurately. And I think it sounds like, I think we're prepared. Uh, Lindy, do you need any support in any way? No, I'll just update this like we talked about. And 
send it out just one more time for you guys to look at before Monday okay. to make sure that I captured everything that we talked about here. Um, I appreciate this because I really, really came into this realizing I don't have any idea what's going on. Um, so hopefully by um, Monday night, I'll, I'll have a much better idea. Good. Uh, thank you all. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. And Second. seconded. All in favor, aye. Thank you all very much for your time.